The British government were anxious to get rid of the Duke of Windsor, first and foremost because of his fondness for Nazi ideology. The establishment wanted Edward gone. Edward's pro-German views were important in terms of him being forced to, to abdicate uh, towards the end of 1936. And if Edward stood down, his younger brother Albert could take over. Baldwin could clearly see the positive side to this crisis, and I think Baldwin thought Albert preferable to Edward. Undoubtedly, that was the case. It was the first time in British history that the king had chosen to give up the crown. I was deeply shocked that he should have given up a country and a great empire for um, this woman who I said didn't, didn't figure very highly in my estimation. Wallace fled to France. She left London because after the thing came out, people threw stones at her house and shouted, so she really fled. On December the 10th, 1936, having reigned for under one year, Edward VIII signed the instrument of abdication. At long last, I am able to say a few words of my own that I have found it impossible to carry the heavy burden of responsibility and to discharge my duties as king as I would wish to do without the help and support of the woman I love. Edward's younger brother stepped onto the throne to become King George VI. Edward left the country. England had rid herself of a liability. But no one realized just how close they would come to having Edward back, as the FBI files reveal, this time, with the backing of Hitler. <laughs> <laughs>